What's going on guys, it's Cliffy here today with our first official episode for our new Aston Villa career mode and today we are playing in the Champions Trophy final uh, against Sporting Gijon from Spain and basically this video here more of you know just like a, a gameplay, a first gameplay of this career mode and just letting you know what's happening like transfer wise and all that stuff so um, oh good hit to start with unlucky so I asked you guys in my intro video who you would like to go and see me sign um, and I've gone and put in a few inquiries, scouted a few of those players and um, you know things have come back and we've had a, a wee bit of a positive response I guess you would say. Oh, Finesse from outside the box, that's what I love about this new FIFA, Finesse shots are back and they are amazing. Outside the box, just like that, I think that was Westwood possibly or Vertort. Vertort, this guy, he is an absolute gun for me so far, absolutely loving him, having him in the centre of midfield, he's just, I don't know, he's he's 76 overall, and he just seems to get things done, score goals, make vital tackles, and that is a great start for us, just like that, so, um, yeah, scan a few of those players that you guys asked for, um, obviously there was an Ajax winger, whose name escapes me at the moment, um, yeah, went for him. Uh, he was quite expensive. Went for Jetero, uh Williams as well. And, yeah, I don't think that's going to happen. The club don't really want to sell him. Personally, I'm looking elsewhere at other left backs as well, uh, just to go. And I guess strengthen that area, because that is probably one of the weaker areas um, in this side, is probably the fullbacks. Uh, where there's only, I think, three in total. And so that's obviously the right backs and the left backs. Great ball through to Scott Sinclair. Can he get that into the middle? Yes, he can. Oh, my goodness. What an effort from Jordan AU, and what a save, what a block from the defender. It should have been 2-0 in this final, but no, a great block. Oof, good save from the keeper. Um, See, so yeah, we looked at that. Um, I've looked at a few other players as well. Uh, Maximilian and Meyer from Schalke, I believe, uh, and he was quite expensive as well. I think he was going to cost me about $25 million, so I kind of, kind of went away from that because that was a whole idea. A lot of people said, oh, sign Lacazette. Um, as a striker. Stri the, the striking area isn't too much of an issue really. Um, it is at the moment because we've had quite a lot of injuries, like a Bongalore was injured um, and I think my other two backup strikers are injured as well because I've changed the formation, playing a 4-4-2, four, four, um, just a standard one and so I normally use IU and uh, a Bongalore up front because they seem to be uh, it seems to be pretty decent for me, and then I can always go and change, I guess, to like more of a 4-3-3 if I need to, uh, with Sinclair and maybe Grealish on the wings. Oh, another Finesse! Jesus, they are overpowered in this game. I, th I think this is the first time all pre-season that I've scored two goals in a game, and it's inside 28 minutes as well. Whew, who was that? I think that's the right back as well. That is the right back. He's been out of form. I swapped him out uh, with Alan Hutton, I believe. Is it Alan Hutton that plays for the Scottish International? Swapped him out because I'm trying to go and, I guess, build this side up. And I'm not going to really do that with players who are in, you know, in their late 20s, early 30s kind of thing. So I've really gone and, and tried to inject a little bit of youth into the side. This is a bit dangerous. But a bad, it is a poor finish. Poor, poor finish. We've got Kieran Clark. Um, a lot of people said to use Okafor as well, um, who I have been using, but he's just a bit out of form today. So centre backs are pretty solid. Um, obviously, the captain Mika Richards, and then we have Kieran Clark, and we have Okafor as well. So again, very young players, a very young side, and just looking at going and trying rebuilding. Maybe bringing in a few, uh, I guess, more experienced names because sometimes that's what you need. You can't just have all these young guns. You need a bit of experience as well. So that's something possibly looking at going and doing. Um, but apart from that, I'm pretty happy with the team. Centre mid's pretty sorted. Um, out wide, we're pretty sorted. We've got Grealish. Uh, we've got Sinclair. We've got Adama, I think, or Adama, um, one of the two. And so, so that area there is pretty sorted. Um, the only other area probably that does need a wee bit of addressing um, is maybe goalkeeping. Because at the moment, Brad Guzan away with the United States national team. And... Because of that, we have to play, I think we're playing Mark Bunn, who it is, who's only 71 rated, and he's not like a young guy either. He's not like super, super young, a guy who can go and obviously learn from uh, Guzan, who's probably getting into his prime now. Uh, I think he's just hit 30, so 
um, really for a goalkeeper starting to come into his prime at this stage of his career. So that's another another area that I'm probably looking to go and address and try and pick up a young goalkeeper, maybe a decent goalkeeper who can go and I guess um, challenge you know Guzan for that starting role. Um, so what a start from Villa. Surprisingly, I've actually had possession as well because that's something all preseason that I have not had is possession. Uh, well, majority share of the possession, shall we say, 58% so far in that first half and. You really just got to go on this FIFA, like a lot of people have been saying it, and like I, I'm definitely agreeing, is that this FIFA, a lot more than others, is more about, you know, um, in FIFA 15 or FIFA 14, you could ju just go and knock it out to Sinclair here, he'd run down the wing. Pace isn't as important, as you can see, he's been caught up to there, um, I wouldn't say easily, but quite comfortably, and because of that, you really need to go and try and build it up a wee bit more, get it around, you know, the edge of the box, like I have done today, and put those finesses in. Get those long shots in. Long shots seem to be quite good. Um, I've scored quite a few of them in both uh, in both career and ultimate team. So get that up over the top. It's going for the volley. That would have been a thing of beauty. Thing of beauty. See, but this is the area that I don't want to go and don't want to get caught out in. Because if we can win this, win this, we get a quite a bit of extra uh, transfer funds as well, which is one of the main reasons of a tour. Oh, he ran out of options. I was trying to go and actually reset it and play it back. But look at that. He's just a guy. He's like a... I guess he's probably more of like a box-to-box -box midfielder. He just goes and just runs for days for you, which is good. It's what we want, and that is a poor cross. Absolutely shoddy cross. Going to make some substitutions. Not for me. I'm just going to stick with the side that I've got at the moment. They bring on Castro. Yeah, because I'm just trying to think who else is out for me. Just a bongalore, I think. A bongalore's out with, I think he's out, out for about four weeks. Um, sprained his ankle or something. I'm still trying to get used to these lob through balls. They're just, yeah, they're just a wee bit, wee bit difficult. Because, I, I mean, realistically, since FIFA's been out, I, like, I can't remember how long it's been out for. I think it's been out for, like, a wee, well, not a wee while now. But it's been out for, you know, a week, week and a half, two weeks kind of thing. And to be honest, I haven't really played that many games. Like, Ultimate Team, I think I've only played, like, four games. All of them were in the foot draft that I actually lost in the final round. Um, I played the one game, my first impressions video, um, that I obviously did for my channel. Um, and then apart from that, I've played, like, four games in pre-season for career. And that's it. So I've probably played, like, less than ten games so far, which for me is quite strange. Because normally when FIFA comes out, even if it's just exhibition games, like I'm all over it playing exhibition games like left, right and centre kind of thing. But yeah, not not this year. I think it's just because I have so much on, like with other stuff going on with the channel, other series and all that, um, I don't really have like too much spare time to go and do that. Good save there from Mark Bunn. Not the greatest of throws though. And we've put ourselves in trouble. <sighs> See, that's why we need someone else. Someone a bit more experienced. Good ball. Oh, is he onside? Is he? Oh, he's off. He would have been cleaned through as well. Jordan Ayew, he's playing well this game. He's had a his his preseason has been quite mixed. Um, you know, like he hasn't he hasn't had the greatest of preseasons, you would say. Um, I think he scored a couple of goals. That's a foul, surely. Play on, says the ref. Okay. Oh, and he's botched it. They've botched an opportunity. And they can't believe it. Look at them. So disgusted with themselves. As they should be. That was a golden opportunity. Golden, golden opportunity. Great ball. Crossing's just something that I need to work on too. Oh, what are you doing? He's like, Giscade, Gis I think it's Giscade. Giscard. He's like one of the tallest guys in the team. He's an absolute monster. And I don't think I've scored a headed goal with him yet. Oh, he's a monster, but he's slow. Look at it. Oh, oh, I thought he'd won it back there. I thought I'd won it back, but no. Here we go. Look, the holes are starting to open up, which is what you expect. I mean, this is a final. They're down 2-0. They're going to start pressing players forward. There's going to be space in behind, which we really have to go and try and exploit now. But, I mean, we picked up those two early goals, and basically that was that. I mean, that really went and, and put us in complete control of this final. And what... Great work from Grealish. He's been running tirelessly all game, and he just goes and puts it in. Get this and clear. Oh no, you fool! The one time that they actually do a header, I want him to do a volley. The amount of times I've been in the box, 
and it's like, yep, just hit that one. Oh no, I'll hit it with the volley. Yeah, see, lob through balls. We're still getting used to. Own goal off the ref hadn't blown the whistle, but that is full time in the Champions Trophy. So we win that, which is very, very cool to see. And this is another thing I quite like, the old highlights package that they do have now in FIFA 16 career mode. So a pretty uh, pretty stale second half, but we managed to go and pick up the win in the Champions Trophy final. So very happy with that. It's going to bring us a bit more transfer funds, which is what we want to see. Um, so anyway, guys, do hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please remember to leave a like. If you are new, please do subscribe. Um, we're going to do another episode of this on Sunday, probably the first game of the Premier League, where hopefully we have a few new faces to go and introduce to you guys. Um, so as I said, make sure you drop a like, subscribe if you're new check out my facebook and twitter links to that can be found down below in the description hope you're having a good week so far make sure you tune in tomorrow we've got some more don bradman my career reborn carrying on with that make sure you do not miss that